Have you, as a student of quantum grammar, run into a situation where you tell someone that a vowel at the beginning of a word followed by a consonant means no contract, had them ask you why, and then you look at them and say, uh, um, uh, well, stutter no longer, because I have created a video that is 27 minutes and 17 seconds long that will give closure to that amongst many other things. I have found that with my students, no matter what sector of the quantum grammar community they come from, even if they know how to syntax, they do not have closure on why they bank the values that they do. So they're telling me right here, the adverb limits or extends a verb's function, i.e. it modifies a verb. We know that MEN means mental, mind, and an ION is contract. So a vowel is a contract with thinking. A E I O U. It goes on forever. There's no closure to a vowel sound. Where in the same sense that there's a closure to B, a consonant, a constant. Tangible contract versus non-tangible contract. You can't really just go into a document and say, oh, that's going to be an adverb, that's going to be a verb. You have to look at the entire scenario, which is holy modification. I don't mean H-O-L-Y, I mean W-H, forget I said that word. This is pure modification. As far as I know, this information has never before been released to the public on a public platform like YouTube or anywhere else. So it's a very unique situation and I hope you will join me. I'm with the vision of releasing this video in February of 2020. And it's very exciting because I want to share this information with the public. It's for the people to help those with the volition of controlling their contracts and their language. Thank you.